Happy Halloween, Pokemaniacs! Today, we're only looking at treats, no tricks. Santa Cruz, the skateboard company, not the, like, city, has an upcoming collaboration with Pokemon. So shout on over to your local skate shops like Zoomies, Vans, Tillies. Make sure that they're carrying Santa Cruz stuff just to begin with, but see if they can order some of these Pokemon skateboards. These decks are gonna be coming in a blind bag format and they're gonna be coming in size 8 inch by 31.6 inch, if you're curious about that. And then you're gonna get a variant of one of the decks. So this is where it gets a little bit confusing, but breaking it down, this product is a single SKU, so there's only one that you can order. There's not like one for each character that you can get. But when you order this one product, you could get like a Pikachu, you could get a Charizard. There's 20 different variants for that one product number. And then with those 20 different designs, those designs could be one of 15 hollow variants featuring a different character printed over silver prismatic rainbow glitter foil. That's very descriptive. Uh, and a silver metallic paint. Those hollow versions will only be made in a fraction of the overall quantity. And then there's also going to be five special gold foil edition variants featuring black and metallic gold ink over a metallic gold foil, which will be limited to 50 worldwide. So this is really complicated, and but I mean, you have a pretty, ch there's a chance that you could get a really extremely rare item, like, like 50 of, of a kind, I guess. Not one of, one of a kind. Pre-orders are open though, so you go into the store, see if they're gonna be able to participate. The pre-orders do end on November 14th. The products don't ship out until September 2023, so you got a little bit of a wait uh, while they manufacture these things. And if you need it, the SKU is 11117019. So call your shops, see if they're gonna be carrying this thing, and shout out to Pokemon Drops on Twitter for getting the exclusive on this. But if you're into the Bear Walker skateboards, we got a few new ones of those as well up on Pokemon Center. While these Pokemon are pretty cool, I do love Haunter, Mimikyu, and Sableye. It's just something about the Bear Walker skateboards, I feel like they're just kind of plain, you know? Let me know your thoughts down below, maybe I'm crazy, but I just feel like some of the other designs he does for like the Marvel, the, like even the Spongebob one, those designs are pretty cool and I just feel like we're just get a Pokemon on a skateboard. So I'm glad that Santa Cruz is coming and bringing some competition to the Pokemon skateboard realm because Bear Walker's kind of had a monopoly on this for a little bit and it's nice to see some competition. Also up on Pokemon Center, we got the whole new holiday collection. So if you're in the market for some new ornaments for the tree, maybe some other like gear for the tree, like the tree skirts, the, there's some blankets here also for cuddling up on the couch. There's new Pokemon themed Christmas sweaters, which really look great. Uh, there's also new beanies to kind of go with it, new gloves to stay warm, and they're touchscreen gloves, so you can use those. There's some new Pokemon-themed bowls, plates, like all your holiday wear here, so you can kind of flex on your family and friends. There's new pin collections, pillows, those those throw blankets. Like, Pokemon Center is hooking it up this year with some classy Pokemon decor. There's also some new snow globes and Holiday Express statues that you can display all together, kind of like on, like, your fireplace or whatever. Kind of like those, like, Christmas Village things that, like, all our grandmas used to have. But now it's Pokemon! Plus, right now, orders are also going to be getting a free brass ornament with them, so go put in your orders. There's, as far as I could see, there wasn't like a minimum order size, so go go blow it out. Go go get all the ornaments. But if collecting backpacks is more your thing, over on Box Lunch, there's this new like gingerbread themed Pokemon backpack. It looks so cool. It's got these like super cute little like gingerbread versions of Pikachu, Eevee, and Rowlet on it. It does run $74.90. It's not a lounge fly that I can see, but it is super cute and you can get it just in time for the holiday season because it's available now. Target also has another mini backpack up. Not holiday themed, it's just floral and the Kanto starters. Still very pretty, looks awesome. I saw it in person, it's actually a really good looking backpack. And that one's only $49.99, so however you want to spend your budget, you got options there. Also at Target, keep an eye out for the new Wave 2 Corduroy plushies from Jazzwares. This time we're adding Teddy Ursa, Piplup, and Jigglypuff to the mix, and then while you're in the aisle, keep an eye out for the Jazzwares translucent figures of Gengar and Ditto. My target has been super behind lately, and it's like I have not seen any of these things. Our shelves are not, they're, they're not looking great. So hopefully I can find some of these, but let me know if you've been finding them down in the comments. And while you're at it, quick attack that like button for me. It'll bring good luck, I hear. On the Japanese side, they're also getting their own Christmas line of products. They showcased quite a bit here with ornaments and then like figures. There's some, a new like snow globe on their end, and then there's this advent calendar. Lots of really unique items. The Japanese collections usually do have very unique items in them. There's this little outfit in there, plus a notebook, which is always great, holiday journaling and writing down your wish list for Santa. But just a really good collection overall. Personally, I think the English side won this year, but you know, that's maybe I'm biased a little bit. Sene Bueki, 
Is that how you pronounce it? Has their own Paldean starter plushies coming out. They also come in keychain form, so that's pretty cool. But the quality and the size of these plushies is actually pretty impressive to me. I think they look fantastic. They don't come out until December, so that's kind of unfortunate since the games come out in November. But hopefully having that extra month there, you'll give you more time to like bond with your starter Pokemon. And maybe, you know, you'll decide you actually really like a different one. Or just buy all three. Japan also has this new Pokeball toy coming out. It reminds me of like the old Digimon like digital pets, like the Tamagotchi type of things. But this one has over 300 Pokemon in it and you can play little games in it. You, you can interact with your Pokemon by doing different motions with it. Like there's like a throwing motion, you can shake it. it has light up effects and everything. The text is all in Japanese though. So I'm not exactly sure if like you can change the language on it or not. So personally, I'm kind of skipping on it right now because of that. But either way, I mean, there could be a good reason to learn Japanese or an easy way to learn Japanese. So I'll link that below over on Mecha Japan if you want to check it out. And you treasures adding to their Gengar collection. We have this new one featuring a black coating that just looks fantastic. So we've got the new necklace with the, that little like gem on there. Kind of looks like it's using Shadow Ball or something. Looks so good. Like just the color of that. There's also a ring to go with the collection. So overall, like I feel like they nailed it. You treasure does a great job with these designs. In Pokemon card news, the final special set on the English side was leaked. So we have Crown Zenith as our final Pokemon card set for the Sword and Shield era. It's a special set, like I said, it's it's gonna looking pretty good. So taking a look at some of these cards, sorry if leaks, maybe skip ahead like a minute. But this set, Crown Zenith, will be including cards from the Japanese set V-Star Universe. Plus, there's gonna be cards that were cut from some of the recent and upcoming English sets as well as promo cards that never made it over to the English side. There are new art rare cards and new special art rare cards. So TBD on kind of like how each one falls into each of those categories. But the art is insane on some of these cards and oh, it's so good. So this set is actually slated to release on January 20th, 2023 and should be coming out with like a special ETB with 10 packs inside. It's gonna have like a Lucario theming according to rumors. Plus, there's going to be some V Collection boxes, of course, so lots of details to come with Crown Zenith, but I'm super excited for this. Let me know how excited you are. Overall, it was a really big week for the Pokemon cards. So last week, we got the Charizard UPC, finally, Charizard Ultra Premium Collection, if you're not in the know. There was a lot of waves of this product that kept getting released at different retailers. I am seeing in different like social media platforms that people are getting some orders canceled, but there are a lot of waves that came out, a lot of orders getting fulfilled and it's awesome to see because this was a very coveted item and we're even seeing it out on shelves chilling there like at walmart and stuff so go check your shops if you haven't been good luck to you hopefully you can pick one up like it seems like these are going to be decently available but like don't sleep on it and overshadowed by the launch of the charizard upc there was the hisuian zoroark v-star premium collection that also came out on friday it comes with six packs of cards and honestly the value to pack ratio is a little bit off for this box so if you want to pick one up for the promos i'll link them down below for you but like maybe, maybe just buy one a much better deal though are these stacking tins so so msrp on these are 12.99 and they come in fire dark and fighting type tins each tin comes with three packs so you're getting a little bit off from the typical five dollars per pack so this is actually a pretty good deal at msrp especially if you can get a discount at like a local game shop or something Plus they stack and they actually will stay together. Ugh, so underrated. But I don't know what's inside these tins though. Like I don't know what sets the packs they're bringing in there. So if you know, if you've gotten yours already, let me know down in the comments. I'm very curious. Then this coming Friday, November 4th, we have actually quite a few products dropping in the Pokemon cards. So if you want to be able to pick up the Best Buy exclusives Mew V and Kiram V, these both are going to run $19.99 with four packs inside. The Best Buy exclusives, I'll have them linked down below if you want to check them out. Then over on GameStop, we have the exclusive EVV Premium Collection that gives you a whopping nine promo cards and nine booster packs inside for $69.99. And then there is also the Hisuian Electrode V Box that also is coming out on Friday with four packs inside for $19.99. Show some love for Hisuian Electrode. You're gonna need it in this lineup. And then additionally, tomorrow on November 1st, Walmart is releasing their Shaman V Star Premium Collection and their Darkrai V Star Premium Collection. These look like pretty cool boxes. I've heard through the grapevine that these are going to be on the Black Friday ads for Walmart, but I haven't seen, I actually, I actually looked on their website, couldn't find anything Pokemon card related in there. So I don't know if it's going to be like a day of like doorbuster type of thing. So keep an eye on it. As I've heard it's going to be like 20 bucks, which if it is killer deal. The winners of the 2022 Pokemon TCG illustration contests are actually getting their cards printed. Finally, the contest was actually back in June 
And so now the cards are being printed, but only in Japan. And it's going to be starting on December 16th when you spend 2,000 yen or more at a Pokemon Center. You'll get these three cards as a special promo. So hopefully they'll bring those over to the like Pokemon Center websites on the English side. And uh, we can get a hold of these because these are pretty cool. In Pokemon video game news, we've switched gears now for the code cards. We're getting Marshadow starting yesterday. They are available at Target in the US. In Canada, they're going to be available at GameStop. The promo runs from October 30th to November 12th, so you hopefully have some time. I went into my Target. The guy didn't know anything about what I was talking about, so you might want to call ahead. Keep double checking with your targets. Uh, just make sure you know that they get them. But don't wait on these either, because like once they're gone, they're gone. And Marshadow is pretty cool. If you're in Australia or New Zealand, you already have access to these codes. Hopefully, you already got it. But head over to JB Hi-Fi. They'll be able to hook you up. Hopefully, because it ends for you guys down under November 18th. And I know I have at least one viewer down in Mexico. They actually have this promo as well. So there's a shop down there called Game Planet, apparently. You can go in there. They'll be able to give you the codes for all three Pokemon of Volcanion, Genesect, and Marshadow. Then with the new game Scarlet and Violet coming out, make sure to take care of your hands. We've got the new Hori split pads that came out, all themed after Pokemon. So some fantastic themes that they put on these split pads. And then there's also like carrying cases and stuff that you can go with it. So whether you're looking to take care of your own hands or maybe you're trying to get a gift for somebody, you know, if Christmas is coming up. I'll link those at Amazon down below. Happy Halloween, though. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there. Have fun, though. Have a good time. We did a trunk or treat this past weekend for work. I was handing out the booster packs. The kids were stoked. The adults were even more stoked. It was kind of funny. Have a great one. Have a great week. Take care of each other out there. And I'll see you guys very soon on the next one.